Hey guys, I'm Vi Prieto and welcome to my little tutorial on how I went about my Malamini animation. Uh, yeah, I think you can get a lot out of loop animations. It's a great way to practice a very specific topic and uh, really hone into a technique. So yeah, let's begin. I won't be going over how to animate per se, um, like the hair and jacket and stuff, but more the different steps I ended up using for the, the rough, the tie down, um, light shading color stages. Before I started, I definitely gathered a bunch of reference that I thought was really reinforcing the mood that I wanted, like uh, Bubblegum Crisis, uh, Evangelion, Gunbuster, Ghost in the Shell, cyberpunk anime, you know, retro style kind of vibe, you know, that I'm just interested in, so yeah. And this is what I came up with. Um, very rough, but all the main components and volumes are figured out. And yeah, I didn't start animating until I had the hair really figured out, because that's that, that was a tricky part. <laughs> so I already had the pose and I had this figured out. So I had two main questions. One, how fast the loop is going to be, and secondly, what kind of wind is going to be affecting this character. Um, and after a lot of trial and error, I came up with this, which... Uh, let me just prepare this. Bam. So this is what I came up with. Now, I didn't animate all of this at the same time. I, I divided them into chunks, and originally it was actually much easier shapes. Um, I, I like, for example, the bangs here. Um, they started off much, much simpler shapes. Like they wouldn't have all these details. They would just be like kind of a blob like this. And then once I had that blob moving in a way that I was happy with, then I would like start breaking it you know, into smaller pieces and, and such. And then that's how I ended up with this. Um, and just like repeat that process entirely for, for this here as well, and this, and this, and everything really. Um, and this is animated on threes. Yeah, so I started it by doing on sixes. So here's the first key and it's one, two, three, four, because the last one is just same, same drawing. Yeah, it was all animated first on six, like so. And once I was happy with that, I just in between. But of course, always dividing it into smaller pieces. It's much more manageable to just like, you know, okay, well now that I figured out the main blob, I will focus on this part here, you know? And then I would just like animate this entirely for a pass. And then once I'm happy with that, okay, I'll animate this. And then I'll animate this and yeah. It dividing it into, you know, breaking it into smaller and smaller tasks makes it more digestible, really. Because otherwise, all of this in animating all this in one go, it would be a bit of a headache. And also, this way, you can find nice ways to break the animation um, and, and make it a little bit more interesting and add texture to it. Once the rough was done, um, I just used the same convention, naming convention and structure, and just tidied it up. So here's the, the final line pass, which is actually quite rough. I like the boiling line and the sketchy um, qualities of this. So for me, this was clean enough. This is good enough for me. Um, still quite precise though, so I'm happy with it. And yeah, um, once this was done, I followed the exact same principle as dividing into smaller chunks. Um, starting off big and then dividing into smaller chunks. Um, and then I just started adding shading. Um, and again, I just followed the original sketch we had here. I followed this for always this for reference of, of what kind of shading or style or whatever. Of course, the final look is a tiny bit different, but this was huge help. So yeah, like you can see all the shading info and, and how the hair and stuff. So I would apply that and yeah. So here and again, same principle. I would do it on sixes and then just break it into ch smaller pieces. And there's your 
shading pass. I added a second shading pass because they use that a lot in a lot of old school anime. Yeah. Then I added my lighting pass with a little bit of ember animation, but yeah. And it's it's all again really rough, like you can see here. It's quite messy, but it's fine. It, once it moves, this this is really forgiven. So there you go. As long as it feels right, then that's that's really all that matters. Before I jumped into color, because I already had this layer structure and, and all this naming convention, I just had to replace these you know these colors and stuff with the final uh, the final color palette. Um, I did a bit of exploration, so I did some... These were the first passes that I did. Very bright and saturated colors, kind of a callback to old school color palettes. Um, but then I wanted a, something a bit more metallic and yeah, just more grungy. And this has a, a cool color palette, very cool colors. I went for something a little bit more warm because mine went to more of a sunset, but um, yeah, here it is. Bam! It's, yeah, the, the once I figured out the color and, and these um, explorations, like, replacing the colors was really fast, so... Definitely a, a very simple pass. So, once you're happy with the results and consider it done, you can take this straight to comp. Um, I did a quick background exploration, just added some simple clouds, um, tried different colors and stuff, and I ended up going for the, the oranges and purples and pinks. And that's it. Uh, go have fun with some cool loop animations, you guys. Um, they're really fun and fast to try out. Thanks for watching.